Now, this idea of self-deification, apotheosis, becoming a living God. Well, of course you want to be a living God, because who wants to be a dead one? I, I don't think most people have, an, have the vaguest idea what they're talking about. When, when they make the claims that they are their own God, you hear this a lot on the left-hand path, because the left-hand path is the path to apotheosis, if you will. Now, does this mean, let's say, like in the case of the Mormons, who believe that after, their, after they die, the men, the Mormon men, I don't think it's the women, but the Mormon men will become the gods of their own planets. Hmm. Now, you on the left-hand path, when you say you are your own god or you are striving to become your own god, what do you mean by that? If you're 45 years old, you live in your mother's basement, you're sponging off, let's say, welfare, and you proclaim, you proclaim your divinity. Uh, I have a few questions for you. And my number, my number one question to you, who, who make this proclamation of being their own god is what are you the god of you're not even the god of your own environment of yourself being your own god means in my eyes means you only worship one thing and that's yourself you put yourself above anything else. Now this sounds, this sounds selfish, and I know some people will go, "What the fuck?" You know, that's that's awful. But you're you're still trapped within that that let's face it, that that Christian dogmatic way of thinking. You must be your highest being, for you to really be worth a damn to anyone else. That is loved ones. That's family. That's society. That's your nation state. Whatever it is. It's got to start with you. Too many people work backwards. Too many people look at the whole, look at the collective, and decide they're going to, to save the world, save the whales, hug trees, whatever the hell it is, whatever cause. It's cause first and foremost. And the reason why they do that is because they do not love themselves. See, a cause is something they can get lost in. they become faceless. But if you are your own God, you won't get caught, you won't get lost in that, in that faceless crowd. You will be the face. You will be the identity. Now, another aspect of self-deification, if you will, is you becoming whole with your psyche. You better understanding who you are from your ego all the way down to the collective unconscious. Well, of course, you're not going to become the, the sovereign of the collective unconscious. 
That isn't happening. But what you are doing is getting the best understanding, the, the, the deepest connection with your personal unconscious. Not only your ego, but down into your personal unconscious. Under, trying to understand what's going on down there, that, that that disorderly, it's like it's like a basement where you toss shit into. You know, a lot of us have those, maybe a closet or a drawer or whatever. You just kind of randomly toss shit into. Well, that's that's what your personal unconscious is like, and you forget what's in there until you rummage through it and then you find certain things and go, oh yeah. Becoming your own deity, becoming that deity that is supreme within your life, you need to rearrange that closet, if you will, or that drawer, or that room, that basement. And what can we do from a psychological level on the left-hand path to help bring about this apotheosis? Number one is we do not deny who we are. This is a path of raw, brutal honesty. We're not going to pretend everything's okay when it isn't. We're not going to we're not going to put our, our hopes and dreams in, into something else that is, let's say, beyond us. That's something else to make us a better, stronger person. We put that all into ourselves. We concentrate on the self. I know a lot of you are afraid of selfishness. Uh, are too wrapped up in the quasi-Christian dogmatic thought of, of compassion and so on and so forth. It, it's fine to be compassionate, but only compassionate to those who deserve your compassion. I'll put it that way. There's no such thing, or it's not good to just have this wide let's say, net of compassion that you toss over the world. You're wasting your fucking time. And you're showing your insecurities. So what basically the path does is, the left-hand path does, is it allows us to commune with our dark half and then utilize that dark half for our benefit. We don't pretend like it isn't there. It is there. So, my friends, foes, and faithful minions, what do you think apotheosis or self deification is all about do you think it's even possible leave your comments down below and please like share and subscribe until next time